What's up you guys, Joe Dobby here. I am now a Deck Out Gaming affiliate. Use Joe Dobbs Deck Out at checkout. Deck Out Gaming has tons of singles for Pokemon, Dragon Ball Super, and Digimon TCG, as well as One Piece. They now buy list as well, so don't hesitate to reach out and uh, they got your back. Really high customer service ratings. Thank you guys. And uh, yeah, let's get to the video. What's up you guys, it's Joe Dabi here. You know me as the Digimon TCG content creator, but now I am dabbling in other card games and shout out to Universus for um, getting me in the right contacts with people, especially Tam Cardwell. His link will be in the description below. Um, and yeah, for learning the game, he gave me a really good crash course. You could say that this is the world's easiest episode for learning how to pick up the My Hero Academia and the Universes kind of like um, collectible card game. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just um, dive right into the video. Enjoy. All right, Tam, how do we do this? <laughs> All right, simple, simple, simple. Yo, what up? Um, so yeah, we're just gonna take you through a, a basic, the world's easiest uh, um, how to play. Um, we're gonna talk uh, about uh, a couple of the different cards that we have available to us. Sweet. So as you uh, as you follow along, um, you'll be able to hover over each card type as, as, as we go through. So um, this is Endeavor. He's the deck that you're going to be playing. Mm -hmm. If you look up in the top left corner, the big number six, the big mm -hmm. orange six, that is the difficulty. Every card in the game has, has three uh, uh, numbers. Difficulty, yeah. top left, control, bottom right, and the block mod, top right. Gotcha. Character cards start in your uh, on your board, and they have uh, some specific properties. So the green, uh, the three green squares with the six in it, that's your hand size, mm -hmm. and that is how many cards you draw up to at the beginning of your turn. Awesome. The heart underneath it is uh, your health total. Yeah. Uh, you have 31 health, and my character I'm going to be playing only has uh, 27 health mm -hmm. uh, because they do different things, and that's for balancing. And okay. then just the text box in the bottom of just like here are the things that your character does. Okay. Your character is the most important thing in your in your most important card in your deck because it's the card that you start the game with. Understood. Yeah. The way that you win the game is you uh, play attack cards, the orange ones. So you'll look at prominence burn here. This, yep. is the, this is the essentially the ultra rare that you get inside of your kit. Very um, nice. And it says that uh, 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 it is how you reduce your opponent's uh, health to zero. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, if you look on the right side of the card, mm -hmm. you've got the the two numbers there. It's a four for seven. Okay. The top number is the speed and the zone of the attack. If you look, we have this is a four high. It's indicated with a with the red. Yeah. Um, and then you've got mid and low mids are orange and you can mm -hmm. look at the block modifier on prominence burn mm -hmm. and if we come over to quick to act we have a low block here so you can see the fact that it's it's red orange yellow red orange yellow okay got it yes. got it got so it. red is high orange is mid yellow is low got it and then the last one is just the the damage stat yeah, uh, and then you've got the text box and then keywords, but we'll, we'll get the keywords. Sure. Um, the way that you uh, successfully play cards is you have to have some sort of a resource to pay for it, and that's where foundations come in. Got foundations it. come down and are a resource that sit in your stage mm -hmm. until utilized, either by using the ability on the card um, or by committing them uh, or turning them sideways in order to help pass checks. Understood. So that's all you need to know in order to play the game. So we're just going Sweet. to get started. Uh, so what we're going to do, nice and simple, is we're just going to put our health total to full. We're going to shuffle our decks. Yeah. And then from here, we're going to draw up to our printed hand size. So we're both going to draw six. Okay. So I'll draw six here. It feels a little backwards, but I am actually going to have you go first. Sure. So when you go first, um, you're going to start with your character committed. Because okay. you, are, you are allowed to commit your character in order to help pass checks to play cards. Ah, so okay. Looking in your hand, um, this game has an asymmetrical mulligan. So you going first, you have an all or nothing mulligan. If you like your hand, you can keep it. If you don't like your hand, one time, you can put it on the bottom of the deck, redraw your your, your hand size, and then um, shuffle back up. Okay. Since I'm going second, I get to start with my character ready, and yeah. I get a partial mulligan. So I'm going to toss back two cards, and then redraw my two, and then wow. shuffle my deck back up. Okay, so if I do a full mulligan, I'm sending this back to the deck and shuffling and then drawing a new six? Uh. I put it down on the table because you technically put them at the bottom of the deck. Ah, uh, first. Then okay. you redraw. You cannot draw those exact copies of cards. But for okay. your deck, all you have to do is you have to be able to... Do you have at least three foundations in your hand? No. Okay. If you don't have at least three foundations in your hand, ship the whole thing back. Okay. So we're putting it down. 
Here we go. Underneath, right? Mm -hmm. And then no shuffle, draw six. Draw six. Ah, uh, okay, so no and then shuffle. shuffle your deck. And then shuffle the deck, got it. Correct, you can't draw those exact cards, but... Understood. Okay, sweet. And sweet. then from there, that's the hand that you're stuck with. So, the worst control <laughs> deck, or the number in the bottom right corner, yep. or the blue number, the lowest that you have in your deck currently is a three. In the game, they can go all the way down to one, so you have to like do your, your deck building accordingly, but for yeah. the demo game, it's a three. Okay. So, I want you to play the highest difficulty foundation you can in this spot right here. That Just makes sense. So we'll go ahead and lay down Arrogant Smirk. Okay, so the way that the, the game works is that you have to pass this, right now this card is floating above, waiting to be played. Mm -hmm. The way that we pay for our cards is we actually utilize the top card of our deck as a resource. Yes. So we're gonna take, and you're going to discard the top card of your deck because we're on Tabletop Simulator. You can click this check discard top button. And you're All going right. to compare the blue number that is on the uh, that was checked yep. to the orange number that is in the card pool. So okay. you need to get, the blue number has to be equal to or higher than the number two. You so checked we a definitely six. got there, yeah. No, it passes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and play the next highest uh, foundation here in uh, your thing. Okay, so real spectator. This is a fighting game simulation. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever played a fighting game before? Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> so, you know, like, attack strings are kind of hard to pull off, right? The, 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 the combos that you do, you're pressing buttons over and over and over again, and the longer your string goes, the, the, the harder it is to continue to play your string. Exactly. The way, that, the way that we translate that into the game is, is a, a mechanic called progressive difficulty. Mm -hmm. So, Thrilled Spectator is a one difficulty move because of the orange number, but it has plus one to its progressive difficulty for mm -hmm. every other card currently in your card pool. Yeah. So, this is a one plus one you need to check a two or better uh, off of the top card of your deck. Let's see what we got. We have checked another six. Incredible. So now this card passes. Nice. From here, you can keep playing foundations or you can pass your turn. You don't have to play until you fail. Okay. Uh, it is completely a choice. Okay. What are you the... Want to, on turn one, play yeah. as many foundations as possible. Okay. And remember, the lowest check in your deck is a six. Okay. Got it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and play quick to act. Or sorry, the low check is a three. I'm so sorry. The high yeah, check it, is a six. Oh, that's all good. So yeah, we're going to play quick to act here. And this will be a three cost, basically, plus the, because of the progressive difficulty and the zero cost. So I'll do... It's a two. It's oh, a it's two. two. Oh, zero, zero, one, two. One, got two. it. Got it. Yeah, so yeah. it's a two. We'll go ahead and uh, trash top and we hit a three. So we are right in there. And I think I'm going to pass turn here. Okay. From there, the card pool clears backwards. So this card, oh, sorry. this yep. card moves down, yep. this card moves down, this card moves down. Now the card text on the cards is active and live. While oh. it's in the card pool, the card text on these cards don't matter. Okay. There's a small asterisk. There's some cards that, that say, while it's in the card pool, you can use its ability. Or some say, okay. while it's in your momentum, you can use its ability. We don't okay. have any of those in the starter decks. But So now you need to read these in order to figure out what's going on. Yeah, so we've got enhance, commit, return your attack to its printed damage um, for Arrogant Smirk. And during your rival's turn, so this is a defensive enhance, you can destroy, if you have lost health, this enhance step, add one fury attack from your card pool to your hand. Okay, and then we got enhance commit. So I have to commit this card to trigger its enhance. Weapon attack gets minus three speed. And then the next enhance here is if your opponent, if your current health is less than half of your maximum health, this attack gets plus one speed. Okay. Pretty cool. So now it's my turn. Yep. Because I have the privilege of going second, I get to draw one extra card. Sweet. So from here, I'm not going to play out my foundations. I'm going mm -hmm. to play Exhausted Exclamation on a two plus zero. So I need to check a two. I check a three. I'm going to play a, a Patient Observation on a two plus one, so on a three. Mm -hmm. I check a five. We're going to play Dedicated Instructor on a one plus one plus one. So on a three, it checks. Got We're it. going to play Acrobatic on a zero, one, two, three. It checks a three. Very nice. We're going to play Patient oh. Observation on a two plus one plus one plus one plus one, so on a six. Mm -hmm. I check a five. Now here's where the checking mechanic comes in. Mm -hmm. I can choose to commit my character or a foundation if I had one in my stage. Yeah. Or I can let the card fail. Yeah. If at any time on your turn you would play a card out of your hand, um, and it the check fails, mm -hmm. your turn is over. Ah, uh, okay. The only time that that's not true is playing action cards. Got but it. That's that's for a later date. Okay. I am going to go ahead and commit this in order to pass the card. Yeah. And then I'm going to play Undaunted Message on a 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So on a 6. I check a 5. I don't have the resources anymore. This card goes, and now my turn is instantly over. It's done. I failed my check. I see. So that's the... These cards all move down. Yeah. And then it goes back to your turn. Okay, so that's the downside of failing a check. The last card will be discarded, and your turn totally ends. 
it was never successfully played. It was sitting here hovering yeah. above my board, waiting yeah. for it to be checked. Got it. Okay, so now I draw to hand size, right? Pause. Oh, sorry. There's, another me there's one more mechanic we get to talk about. Got so it. The first yeah. thing we're going to do is we're going to ready all of our cards. So we're going to turn okay. Endeavor and face him up, yep. which means now his abilities are active. Nice. Because okay. we are a draw six game as opposed to a draw one game, um, uh, it's easy to get cards stuck in your hand. Yes. And so we have what is called the review step. Okay. Before you draw up to your printed hand size, you can take one card out of your hand if you choose, mm -hmm. and you can discard it before you draw. The normal mentality is, if you want to play attack cards on the next turn, you review a foundation. If you want to build foundations, you review an attack. Got that's it. That's just, that's the level one strat when it comes to reviewing. Got um, it. Championships in this game have been won off of bad reviewing. Wow. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It, is, it is a skill that you have to learn. There's, there's a, it's a very similar idea of, have you ever played Flesh and Blood? Yes. Pitch stacking. It's kind of the, oh, that same idea of okay. like having a, a understanding how much you can juice your deck when it comes to reviewing and how how yeah. harder you can dig or yeah. should I hold this block mod or so on and so forth mm -hmm, can, mm -hmm. can make or make or break. So for the, for the sake of the demo, if you have a foundation in your hand, discard it. We're gonna get rid of it. Okay. If you have nothing but attacks, we're gonna keep them. I got attacks. Yeah. Love it. So from there, we'll draw back up to your hand size. Yeah. So we'll draw three. There we go. Again, and... for the demo, I want you to play an attack card. Okay, let's go ahead and actually play... Yeah, let's play this. We'll play Scorching Aura. I love it. So this is on a four. Yeah. So you need to make that check for me. Let's check that four. We hit a five. Very nice. Amazing. So what, what has happened now is we are now playing Scorching Aura, and it is slowly moving at me. So what <laughs> okay. you are going to be doing is you're going to be using the cards in your stage to make yeah. it better. I'm going to be using the cards in my stage to make it worse. Correct. We are going to take turns going back and forth playing enhances. And you can see them. There's enhances on the card. There's mm -hmm. enhances on your character. There's mm -hmm. enhances on your foundations. You're going to play one, and then I'm going to play one. And then you're going to play one, and then I'm going to play one. And then you're going to play one, and then I'm going to play one. Until we both say, I don't want to do that anymore in in the, in a row. So the number one thing that you're going to say in the universe is card game. I'll pass my enhance. And that just means I'm choosing not to do anything when it's my turn. It'll go back to you. Oh, Whenever you play okay. an enhance, it'll go back to me, and I can choose to then play an ability or pass. It's not like holding priority where you do everything at once, and mm -hmm. then I do everything at once, and then mm -hmm. we go. We take turns back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And so sequencing can be really, really important. That's very cool. Okay, sweet. So it looks like for a majority of this, I have defensive sounding enhances. Mm -hmm. So I could potentially use the foundation, um, the quick to act enhance. If your current health is less than half of your max, nope, so yeah. I can't use that either. Not so, yet. Yeah, not yet. So, so I the guess the easiest thing to do is just to say the, the enhance on Scorching Aura. Yeah. So it's, enha it's free. Exactly. So enhance Scorching Aura. Um, if this attack deals damage, you gain two health, and your rival loses two health. Um, cannot reduce below one health. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. So I'll use that enhance. Uh, your turn. All right. So now it's my enhance. I'm going to use the enhance on Exhausted Exclamation. Enhance commit. If my character is committed, he is. I will commit it. Now draw a card. Very nice. Um, I'll use my enhance on Endeavor. Uh, I can lose a health, so I'll go ahead and do that. Um, and my attack gets plus two speed or plus two damage. Uh, for the sake of it, I'll just do the plus two damage and make him a seven. I love it. So we're gonna use this red die to represent uh, damage. Yep. Uh, from there, um, I will flip dedicated instructor. So it will turn face down this ranged attack. Oh, if you look okay. at your card, it has the ranged keyword. Yep. Um, keywords that are in white are just descriptive keywords. Okay. Um, they don't do anything themselves, but other cards interact with them, such okay. as dedicated instructor. This ranged attack gets minus three damage. Seven's a little too much for me. So it's now <laughs> swinging in for four. Okay. And it'll go back to you. Yeah. Um. I guess, I think that's, oh, you know what? I'm going to commit Arrogant Smirk Enhance to return the attack to its printed damage. I love that. From there, I'm going to pass on my Enhance. Sweet, so I'm dealing five here. Oh, so you have a oh. chance now to play more Enhances if you want to. Just because I've passed doesn't mean that, oh, that right. it's over, right? Okay. So if, if I pass, and then the next thing that happens is you pass. Like if we, it goes pass, pass, yeah. we'll go to block step and I'll explain that. But if you have another thing that you want to do, you can. I think I'm going to pass. All right, I passed, you passed, which means we're now going to go to the block step. Mm -hmm. So blocking in fighting games is just as hard as playing the attacks. So what <laughs> okay. we're going to do is, is I'm going to play a card out of my hand in order to block. So yeah. I'm going to block with this dropping in from above. If you look, this is a two mid, so there's the speed, and then the two high, so there's my block modifier. I have yeah. to make a check of a four in order to successfully pass the check. Okay. If I check less than the four on the card, I can commit resources in order to pay for that, okay. if I so choose. So you have to check so a four here. 
It's a two plus two. I yes. check a four. I checked a six. Very nice. Passes. Okay. Now, our block zones don't match. Your yes. mid to my high. Yeah. Which means I'm going to take half damage rounded up. So it's three. So one, two, three. And then your ability will kick in. If it deals damage, I'm gonna, you're going to gain two health, and I'm going to lose two health. Nice. You can't go above your maximum, so you'll go back to 31. Yeah. But I'm still going to lose my two. Oh, okay. So you can't go above maximum. Good to know. Correct. Cool. Right. From here, we're going to turn this guy sideways, indicating that it dealt damage. This is uh -huh. just a reminder for at the end of the turn. Understood. So now from here, we are back into the combat phase. You can play more attacks. You can play more foundations. Oh my god, this game is so fun. <laughs> you can play more attacks. Yeah. It's completely and totally open to you. There are some times where I want to play foundations and follow up with attacks. There's some times where I want to play attacks and follow up with foundations. There's yeah. sometimes if you wanted to, you could pass right now with five cards in hand because that's the way that you defend yourself. If you think that what I have going on is super, super scary, right? Yeah. The thing that you have to keep a track of is what happens if you check a three? Yeah, if you fail. If you play another Scorching Aura here with your plus one progressive difficulty five. on a five, yeah. the six, seven, is that worth it? Yeah, exactly. I only have one card in my hand. I'm at 22 health. I have no ways to draw. Don't really have any defensive. Can you get in another move? How much do you want to push yourself? That is the back and forth of universes. That's... How much can I leverage on my turn without leaving myself open for defense on your turn? Yeah, I think what I'm going to do here... This might sound like the wrong strat, but because you have one card in hand, I don't feel threatened for next turn. So I think what I can do is build my momentum up a little bit for the following turn. So I'm going to spend sure. this time um, placing foundations down. So I'm going to hit mm -hmm. stair down here, which will be a three cost. We'll go ahead and hit a that. Reminder, oh, sorry. I do drop to six on my turn as well. So just because I only have one card right now doesn't Oh, yes, that that's very turn. true. That's very true. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's that's fine. Building is not a bad call. Yeah, yeah. So I'll do this here, and uh, yeah, it's a five, so we're good. Um, we'll check Arrogant Smirk again. Uh, this will be a four. Check. That's a three. So I'm gonna commit my guy um, to make I'm it. I'm gonna have you commit oh. quick to act instead. Okay. Because this card is only playable on your turn. Oh okay. yes, it's yeah, it's only a buff for me, and I don't need the buff. Correct. Okay. You look at Endeavor's bottom two abilities. Yeah. He says lose two health. Your rival's attack gets minus four speed. Lose two health, your rival's attack gets minus four damage. This is making Twice so much turn, sense now. Yeah. Either you can make something very blockable by burning a little <laughs> health. Yeah. Or you can pay two health, give it minus four damage. It does not care about blocking because it it's not going to do any damage. Very cool. Okay. So that's why an enhance might not have the once per turn clause. Because if I were to chuck out more attacks in the same turn, I can use the top enhance again, for example. Over and over and over and over. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Okay. Um... Yes. I guess right now I will pass the build phase that I was on. Okay, so now we get to talk about Scorching Aura. So yes. it has dealt damage, mm -hmm. which means that we get to choose to put it in our momentum or not. Got momentum it. Momentum in our game is essentially our special bar. If you take a look at my patient observation, it says enhance commit, discard a momentum, this attack gets minus four speed. Uh -huh. An incredibly strong move only unlockable once I have snagged a momentum. So after I hit you, I get to defend myself a little better. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. sweet. A, a, a move that would be too powerful on turn two, but if I can, if I can, I can do it. I'm gonna force you to keep this momentum so that we can see the cool uh, resources. Sure. And you can stack as much momentum as you want. Sure. Um, my card uses a block is going to be discarded from my card pool. Yeah. From here, I'm gonna ready up all my cards. I'm gonna choose to review this foundation. Okay. And I get a fresh six cards to attack you with. Sweet. Okay, my uh, first one is going to be Total Erasure Binding on A4. Oh, Checks there's a five. lot going on in this card. This is my prominence burn. This is my my ultra rare. Of this nice, card. okay. So I'm going to use its enhance. Your rival cannot play attacks on their character, cannot play abilities on their character card during this attack. Whoa. So this guy is turned off for this one. Yeah. Uh, I'm, have you seen the show? Uh, yes. I'm a yeah. razor head. I looked at you. Yeah, I love it. I, your cork off. I don't know why I looked. I'm Endeavor. I should know these things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So there it is. That's off right there. And I... Uh, yeah, go ahead. So now it's your enhance. Yes. Uh, so my enhance for this will be... Hmm, let's see. I can use the enhance on Thrilled Spectator, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll commit it to reduce the speed of your attack. Sounds good. So it's very, very slow. Yes. I'm now going to use the ability on a racer head. Mm -hmm. Enhance. Your attack gets plus one speed for each attack in my card pool. Mm -hmm. If it's completely blocked, 
I'll draw a card. So its speed is going to go from three high to now two high. And if you block with a high block, I get to draw one card. So I get a I get a, a bonus either way. Either I'm drawing a card or I'm dealing damage. Okay. Your hands. Yes. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Is there any enhance here that I might... No, I think I think I pass on enhance. Okay, from there, I'm also going to pass. It is yeah. a two high for five. Two high for five. So I would have to find a way to block that. And I think I'm going to use um, two high. Two high. I'll use coping with number one to block. Makes sense. So this is a two plus three plus zero. You gotta check a five. Check five. Oh, it's a three. So from there, you can choose to commit your resources, yeah. or you could let it fail and you'll just take the five. I think I'm going to choose to commit my resources here. Amazing. So this card's going to stay in the card pool. You'll mm -hmm. take your three damage. Yep. One, two, three. Amazing. So that's from here. Yeah. I'm going to play Binding Cloth Whiplash on a four, five. Mm -hmm. It checks a five. My first enhance is going to be the combo enhance. So mm -hmm. Eraserhead, um, because he because of the type of fighter he is, mm -hmm. he wants to string long attacks together. So mm -hmm. we have the combo keyword, which if you look at the blue text combo and then the parentheses, yeah, whatever is inside of the parentheses activates the combo enhance. So basically, it's like a gate. So um, while the card directly before it has the requirements inside the combo, it's unlocked. Let me explain. So this is a this this total ratio binding has the word combo in blue text. Yeah. So I'm allowed to play the combo ability. If okay. I had my card pool like this, this card does not have the word combo on it. Okay. So I could not play the combo in hands. So that's all that combo means. Um, th there just has to be another combo next to it. Correct. It's okay. the reason I couldn't use the combo in hands on this card is because uh... I had to have a card with the word weapon. Yeah. And then a card with the word combo, and then total erasure binding. Wow. So if I had played something, if I had played it like this, I Where? could use this ability. That's swing, wild. Swing, swing. Okay, yeah. I get to do this. Wow. Okay, I see. Wow, that's complex. Use its ability yep. that says it does not count towards progressive difficulty for the rest of this turn. Mm -hmm. So the next one that I play ignores this one. The next card that you play ignores that progressive difficulty, which is really good. Yeah. I don't actually have a means of defending. So when my cards oh, are committed, sorry. yeah, that's okay. This guy works again because oh, he's that's up. no longer this attack. Sweet. And when my cards are committed, can I use their enhances? Unless they say the words playable while committed. If you look at uh, this guy, um, it's bottom ability. It says, oh, it's the three most okay. powerful words in the game. <laughs> playable while committed is, playable yeah, that's committed is pretty insane. powerful. Okay, so none of these work. Okay, so all I can do here is enhance with Endeavor. I'm going to use... Let's see, you're a five damage, two... So that's a two speed, right? That's what you mean by that? Correct. Okay. Two low for five currently. Okay. I'm actually... It can only be fully blocked with low blocks and partially blocked with mid blocks. It oh. can't attempt it to be blocked with a high block. It okay. doesn't make any sense if I'm kicking you in the shin for you to block your face. Exactly. Knowing me, I would though. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's go ahead and in use the enhance to reduce the attack damage by four then. And I'll pay the two health guys. Amazing. Yeah. From there, I'm going to use the ability of a razor head. I'm going to give it plus one speed for each attack in my card pool. Mm -hmm. If it is blocked, your uh, if it's fully blocked, I'll draw a card. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass on enhance. From there, I will also pass. It is a four low for one. Four low for one damage. I'll take the hit. Okay. I'm at 25. From there, I'm going to play aerial drop on a four. This one ignores. Plus one, so five. I checked a three. Let's commit four and five. Nice. My first enhance is to combo with a combo. It's going to get plus two damage. Oof, so that's a six. Mm -hmm. Looking at a six. Uh, I'm going to use Endeavor's second enhance to pay two health and reduce the speed by four. Amazing. I'm going to use Eraserhead. I'm going to count one, two, three attacks in my card pool and give it plus three speed. If you block with a high, I get the draw card. So plus three speed. What's your speed currently? Currently, it's a two high for two six. Two high for six. Okay. I'll block here with Scorching Aura. Are you passing? Oh, sorry. Yes, I am passing. Oof. That's something that I... That's going to take some getting used to. <laughs> I'll also pass. Now we can go to blocks. Yes. Okay. So we'll go ahead and block with Scorching Aura. So this is a two high. So my two plus your two plus one. Need yeah. a five. Need a five. Check. It's a five. We are lucky. Amazing. So it was a high block. So you'll take no damage. But my character says draw. that I get to draw a card. 
and now read the bottom text. Breaker response. After you block, your rival's next check to play a card is minus one. Oh, I see. Okay, that's pretty good. So you, you have to use, you declare the words breaker one. So yeah. That is a response on the block. Okay. And you can see that's that green text there. Yeah, so breaker one. So the next card that I play, the blue number is minus one. Failing that check can end my turn. Mm -hmm. So I have to be smart about it. Uh, we're going to play daunting message on a one, two, this one doesn't count, three. I checked a four. Now the breaker goes away. Ooh, nice. So breaker is is combo breaker from Killer Instinct, right? Yeah, like, yeah, hey, exactly. I oh, make wow. this block happen, you stop attacking me. There's some cards that have like breaker two on them, which can be really, really detrimental. Imagine if I played an attack here, it'd be tough. So the, um, so sorry, if you could elaborate a little bit, your rival's next check to play a card gets minus one. Right. Wouldn't it be plus one, like make it cost more for you to play? So it is affecting the blue number, not the orange number. Oh! So the blue number off the top of my discard. Yes. So this card, I didn't check a five, I checked a four. Ah, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. That That is actually more intuitive as well. Oh, sweet. Okay, good. Um, From there, I'm going to play Daunting Message on a one, two, three, this one doesn't count, four. Checks a four. Oh my, nice. I'm going to give up the ghost. I'm afraid to do any more. So we're going to do <laughs> these two will build down. This one did not deal damage. I don't have a choice to put it in. Yeah. This one did deal damage. I'm going to keep it as momentum. Yeah. This one did deal damage. I'm going to choose to keep it in momentum. Understood. And then from there, I'll pass. Okay. Uh, I only turn my momentum sideways because sometimes I get confused if I have this momentum here. No, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, from there, your carpool clears. Discard, discard. Yeah. And then I ready up my dudes. Ready your whole stage. Yeah. And then draw the... You can the... choose oh, to review. review if you want. Yes. Okay. Uh, this seems really good. Uh, uh, no, I will not review. Okay, from there, you will draw back up to your hand size. And that Done. is the entire game. That's the, that's that's it. That's all you need to know in order to play the My Hero card game. That's amazing. And then you just keep going yeah. until you pretty much uh, we'll just keep going. get to zero. So come in and beat me up. <laughs> I mean, there's not much I can beat you up with, but we can try. Um, wow, that is rough. Uh, we're going to go ahead. If you don't have much to attack with, yeah. it is totally not a bad play to just build. Remember, that's true. The more foundations you have... Right now, if you, let's pretend you drew six attacks right now yeah. with only five foundations. Your likelihood of passing all of them is very low. That's true. You had ten foundations. The likelihood of passing all of them significantly higher, right? And yeah. so, building out, taking taking a turn off, building, holding good blocks. You get to look in my discard pile and see what my block zones are. Got right? it. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So you you like there's there's the it is not every turn that you're playing you're not playing an attack you're losing the game that's not the case yeah yeah some decks want to sit back and wait and, 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 play and go for big damage subtle game. Yeah, yeah yeah all right so i'm gonna do uh stare down um which is a two for now so we'll go ahead and check and that's a five so we're good uh my next foundation will be coping with number one that'll be a three check it is a five so that's good um Okay, let's do press conference, which is a three check. Mm -hmm. It's a three, so we're good. And then I'm going to do one more press conference here. That's a four check. We'll do a four. Nice. And, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass the turn. All right, I'm going to review Binding Cloth Mastery, and I'm going to draw five fresh ones. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we can do. Um... Wow, very cool. Let's go Eraser Grasp on a five. Mm -hmm. Checks a three. Let's commit four and five. My first enhance is my next combo or weapon attack is going to get plus three damage. Okay. Yours. I am going to trigger Endeavor's Enhance um, to lose two health and reduce the damage by four. Sounds good. I will take and use a racer head and give it plus one speed, and if it's fully blocked, I will draw one card. Okay, so draw one of the fully block. Um let us. Uh I'm gonna pass on uh, enhances. I will also pass, yeah, it is a three mid for one. Three mid for one. If Let's you block with a mid block, I will draw one card. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, actually, I'll take the one. Sounds good. Yeah, take the one damage there. From there, I'm going to play Binding Cloth Whiplash on a four five. Checks a four. 
So I have to commit one. It's going to be this one to make it five. And it's going to come in with plus three damage. So currently it's a two low for eight. Whoa, nice. Two My first enhance is going to be a racer head. I'm going to give it plus two speed. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use Endeavor's first enhance, or second enhance to lose two health and then give you minus four speed. Sounds good. I'm going to use Blinding Cloth Whiplash to say that it doesn't count towards progressive. It's combo ability. Since okay. This card has the word combo on it. Gotcha. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my coping with number one enhance. Um, yeah. It dealt damage, so I'll get to draw one. Amazing. I will pass. Okay. Uh, that's threatening eight damage, right? With two speed? Uh, zero or, sorry, speed. zero speed. Okay. Yeah, zero low for eight. Zero slow, low for but it hits hard. Yes, pretty pain. Um, we'll go ahead and block with quick to act. Yeah. Uh, and then I so have this. this is yeah. a zero plus three plus zero, so on a three. On a three, a five. Amazing. So it is a low block, so you'll take no damage, but Eraserhead says that I get to draw a card. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah. That should be your go, right? Or is there. Yeah, it's still mine. I was trying to figure out. Oh, no worries. Yeah, I do now. <laughs> I was given more information. <laughs> uh, let's play Binding Shoulder Rush Ooh. on a five. This one doesn't count. Six. Okay. Checks a five. I'll commit this one here for six. Okay. My first enhance is combo with, uh, with since this card is attack, the combo works. I'm going to ready one foundation that's not been ready this combat phase. So I'm going to ready patient observation. Okay. Yours. Um, I've already used both of Endeavors. Ah, uh, that's a weapon, right? Yeah. It is a weapon, yes. Slam weapon. weapon. So I can commit this to give it minus three speed. Absolutely, you can. I'm going to use a racer head, counting one, two, three, and I'm going to give it that three speed back. If you block with a mid block, I get to draw a card. Draw a card. Uh, how much damage are you doing? Currently, it's uh, a four mid for six damage. Four mid for six. I am tempted. I'm actually going to take the six, actually. Uh, you're passing? Yeah, passing. Sorry about that. <laughs> I will play... It's enhanced. It says my next combo uh, attack has minus one difficulty. So difficulty, minus one difficulty says it affects the top orange number at the top left. Oh, okay. Um, I'll pass again. It's a really good combo extender. Yeah, that's strong. Uh, yeah, from there I'll also pass. It's a four mid for six. Yep. Um, no block, so I'll take six damage. Alright, from there I'm going to play Binding Cloth Mastery on a two, three. This one doesn't count. Four. Mm -hmm. Checks a three. I'll commit here for four. Mm -hmm. And then I'll play Binding Cloth Precision. It is a combo attack, so it gets minus one difficulty. So it's a two, three, four. This one doesn't count. Five. Checks a five. Very nice. My first enhance is going to be combo enhance. I can look at the top card of my deck. I can choose to discard it. I'll leave it where it is. Yours. Okay. Um, hmm. ah, I don't have actually. Uh, nope, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on enhance. I'm going to use its ability. If it's the third card of my card pool, it gets plus two, plus two. Mm -hmm. If it's the fifth card of my card pool, it gets plus three, plus three. Mm -hmm. So it is the fifth card, so it gets plus three speed, plus three damage. Plus three speed, plus three damage. So we're looking at six damage. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Um, pass on enhance. I will use a racer hits ability. It can count one, two, three, four attacks. <laughs> so I'll give it four more speed. Pass on enhance will also pass. It is a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine low for six. Nine low for six. I am going to do something interesting and say we'll take the six. So, um, a strategy that you can use, and this is a little more advanced. Sure, yeah. If you have two foundations in your hand, yeah. you only get to review one of them. So if block with the I'm other. Done attacking. Yeah. You can attempt to block with one. Yeah. Even if you fail it, it gets that card out of your hands. So you get to see more fresher cards. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's okay. So that's okay too. Yeah, yeah. So I have two attacks, which is why. So I'm hoping to fill into a larger, more attack cards. Makes um, sense to me. Yeah. So we'll see if I can deal big damage. <laughs> From there, I'm gonna play this closing in on a one, two, three, four. This one doesn't count five. Mm -hmm. I look at the top card of my deck, so I'm not gonna check on five. And then we'll pass. That's... This one dealt damage, so yeah. I'll keep it. This one will build down. This one dealt damage, yeah. so I'll keep it. This one did not deal damage. Yeah. This one dealt damage, so I'll keep it. Very nice. 
All right, from there, it's your turn. Okay, so we'll ready my characters, uh, skip the review step and draw four cards. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and play Blazing Fury, uh, getting into the attack step. And then, um, yeah. I get to tr uh, start, yeah, sorry, go ahead. You gotta pass it. Oh, yes, you're right, goodness. Okay, so that's a five, so we'll try to pass a five, and it's a three. So I'm gonna commit two foundations. Uh, let's go ahead and commit Thrilled Spectator, and let's commit, what's a good idea? Let's commit. Probably this one. Oh, yes, yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah we'll freeze that guy. To, to I will pass. respond. So responses are the same idea of after you block. Mm -hmm. My character says response commit after your rival plays an attack, choose one ability on that attack. It loses that ability for the rest of this turn. So I'm gonna turn him sideways. And now the enhance that's on this card is doesn't gone. exist. Okay, okay, so that's fine then. So that's okay. Um, I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna use my quick to act enhance um, on this guy to give it plus one speed. Amazing. I will pass. Okay, um, I will pass as well. Uh, okay, from there, it's a four, five, six, seven. Checks a three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, fully blocked. It this. was a full block. This card says after I block with it, I remove it from the game. Okay. So it makes my blocking just a little bit easier. Gotcha. So this card will stay here, it. and then I can play more attacks. So Absolutely. I am going to go ahead and play... Hmm. If you have a bunch of attacks in your hand, don't forget that you've got press conference. You're right. Reveal one attack in your hand if the next time. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tap uh, press conference to play uh, Flame Scorcher. Well, not not to play it. So sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so this is on a 4-5. This yeah. is an enhance to flip and use its ability, right? And it oh, just says that the orange okay. number gets a little easier to play. But okay. this is a totally fine play on a 4-5. Yeah. Make that check for me. Okay. Uh, it is a 4. So now... Okay. Commit one, probably this one. Yeah, we'll commit that guy. Amazing. Read the bottom text of this card. Stun one, enhance. Your rival commits one foundation. That is very cool. So it has the keyword stun one using yeah. the orange text next to ranged. Yes. And so you have to declare as one of the enhances that we do back and forth, back and forth mm -hmm. of stun. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So do I get to call my enhances first? As turn player? Yes. The only yes. reason that I got to response. play my response was because it, it, the timing was after you played an attack. Got it. Um, and if you had a response, responses work in the same way as enhances of uh, turn player plays a response and then uh, a, a rival plays a response. It goes back to turn player. They play a response, response, response until we both consecutively pass. And that's Sweet. how everything in the game works is it, we take turns back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Perfect. There's not a lot of, if I have like a ready stage, there's not a lot of playing at your opponent, you kind of play with your opponent. Okay. Right? Yeah. So I'll trigger the stun enhance here to stun your only foundation. Sounds good. Normally I would get to pick, but yeah, it's the only one I got. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, from there, I'll pass. Back to you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to trigger Flame Scorger's enhance to give it plus three. He's got it. I will pass on my enhance. And then... Let's... Use Endeavor's Enhance to lose one health and give it plus two damage. Yeah, I will pass. Um, and then I'm gonna you have more attacks. You might think about playing the press conference. Yeah, I'm gonna flip press conference, and then I'm going to reveal uh, Arctic uh, Conflagration. Yeah, I will pass on my enhance. And then there was an there was something here that I was supposed to do. Where is that guy? Bro, where is it? Uh, never mind. That's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go for eight. I will choose not to block. I'll take my eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Down to 14. Um, and then I'm going to trigger uh, commit coping. Oh, that has to be oh, during sorry. an attack. Yes, during an attack. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. So you could do it on the next one. Okay. So we're pretty much good on that then. Everything resolves. Mm -hmm. And then I can play my next attack, which will be the Arctic Conflagration. Yes. Um, so it'll be four, five, six minus one. Yeah, four, five, six minus one. So it'll be a five, 
and we check the three, which means I have to commit two. So I am going to commit quick to act. And the face down. And the face down, yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah, this card counts as two foundations whenever you use it that way. Wow, that's so good. Okay. Um, yes, so uh, this attack gains stun two or powerful three. What's powerful three? Right at the bottom. In oh, the it's at the bottom. Oh my gosh. momentum. This deck gets three damage for each momentum used to pay for this ability. So you Crazy. can use this to give it three. Yeah, I'll discard to give it three. Okay. It doesn't matter because I don't have an enhance, but it does give it the keyword powerful. Mm -hmm. And then as a separate enhance, you would declare powerful. So if I had a way to interact with it with the momentum, I could stop it, but I do not. So okay. it's got the three. So I've got five here. So total eight damage. I'll pass. Okay. I'll lose a health here using Endeavor's enhance to give it plus two. So it'll be a 10. I'll pass. And we will go hit you for 10. You don't want oh, to Oh, sorry. Press I, will, <laughs> I will press Godfritz and then go for 10. Uh, you got to show me what it is. Oh, sorry. He's, uh, on, a big, oh, he's okay. on a big TV. You I are absolutely right. Okay. Um, we'll do... What's a good thing to finish? Cards in hand? None? Oh, wow. Zero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do um, Arctic Conflagration again. Makes sense to and me. And then flip and return it to hand. And then it'll be a 10 damage. I will choose not to block and I'll take my 10. Nice. All right, so that's done. Um, and then, yes, my final attack that will hopefully pass will be the Arctic Conflagration. Um, and then I can declare a powerful three on it. Oh, I have to check, check, first. check first. I keep, oh my goodness. Okay, so this will be a four, five, six. Uh, four, five, six, seven minus one. So six, okay, yes. oh yes, four plus three. So seven minus one. Um, so I got to hit a six. So we'll hit a three. I have to commit three foundations. One, two, and three to make it go through. Um, and then I'm gonna trigger its enhance for powerful three. Sounds good. You don't have a moment. Oh, you're right. It, but you but you do, you can. If you I- can, if... You're legally allowed to give it powerful three. Oh, but it just whiffs kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. You, it, just, it just has the keyword now, right? Yes. So let's yes. pretend that down here you had a card that said enhance flip your powerful attack gets plus three speed. Got it. Right? Okay. Yeah. So, tech, so yeah. it's a powerful attack now. So okay. this card can interact with it. No worries. You are allowed to play any enhance that um, that you can legally pay for. So okay. if we look at quick to act, it says enhance colon. Mm -hmm. As long as as long as you can pay the cost that's before the colon, you're allowed to do it. So on every attack in the game, you could play the enhance on quick deck. Every attack. Oh wow. Okay. The ability just doesn't wouldn't work because it says if your current health is less than half, it gets up to speed. But yeah. you're allowed to, to I'll play the enhance on quick deck. Okay. On every attack. My attack, your attack, whatever. Okay. The only time that's not true is there are some cards that say only playable if. In which case they will say at the very end of the clause of it would say this attack gets plus one speed, only playable if current attack is less than so tech so technically i could like give my own weapon minus three speed or minus <laughs> that's so yeah, wild yeah, yeah. all right yeah, well, there are some characters that that is their entire strategy no they way reduce the speed of their moves in what? order to turn them into give them the keyword throw that says whenever it is fully blocked it still deals half damage that's and crazy. So it is a chip damage type type game oh man that's so cool jeez um okay well i'm not gonna yeah so um yeah, so I, I triggered the powerful. It'll be your turn to enhance or not. I'll, I'll destroy acrobatic playable and committed to give it minus one speed. Okay. Um, I will pay one with Endeavor um, to give it plus two speed. So it'll be Makes on the one me. here. I will pass on my enhance. And I will pass as well. Uh, go to blocks. I have no cards in my hand, so I can't block anyways. So I will take my five. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa! Easy peasy! Wow, that game. This is a fun game. What the heck? That's really this fun. This game is incredible. This game is so, so amazing. Yeah, wow. That was that was really fun. That was a great time. Like, learning everything. Thank you so much, Tam, for all of this. This is, like, really in-depth in just under an hour. So, um, I'm, I'm really happy that we we took the time to, to learn this game. And uh, does the community play... Them. Does the community play TTS mainly, and then they build their physical decks for tournaments? Uh, it's a mix. Um, obviously, all of the online events that we do are, are a bunch of webcam, but yeah. um, there's there's a ton of tabletop games happening. Wow. Um, just all over the place. In both the main Discord and my Discord, there's 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 TTS games happening all the time. Oh, that's um, sweet. In fact, all of these set five cards are already out on Tabletop Simulator, and so we're, people are already playing games with all the set five stuff. Yeah, I gotta get I gotta get the workshop for this then, because I really want to be in the lab. I, I I like to go in the lab a lot, and like just yeah. I want to make sure that I'm able to you know get the physical cards that I need in instead of just you know going too hard on on boosters budget wise. <laughs> fair. Yeah, very, but very fair. But yeah, thank you so much. That was awesome. You're welcome.